Hello there. Welcome to the animation of the case of Arrington vs. Arrington Woods. As a short introduction, the case takes place in 1936, at Melbane Avenue, Newcastle. Dear son, I bought you and your wife a house located on Milvane Avenue. A house? At Milvane Avenue? That means on this street. And as a gift, I already paid the down payment. But there is one condition whereby both of you must pay the mortgage. The house will be yours when the mortgage is paid. Father, I think the mortgage is slowly becoming a burden to us as the rate of taxes and mortgage is increasing. That's true, and it is a bit inconvenient for us to ask, can you help us pay our mortgage? Sure, I will help pay the rates as well. I can't believe your father is gone. Oh son, will you please come live with me in the time being? Of course, mother. Son, I've been thinking. Since your father had left that house of yours to you, it's only right if we were the ones living in it. Don't you think so? Yes mother, but my wife has been paying the building society installments regularly from the day I came to live with you. A sum of the mortgage has been repaid. But there is still a good deal yet to be paid. However, if she continues to do so, I think she would still get the house once all the payments are done. Oh nonsense. That house belongs to your late father, and we will be the ones to be in possession of it. I'll take it up with the court if I have to. Mr. Arrington had made a unilateral offer to you and your husband. You were in course of performing the acceptance of the offer by continuing to meet the mortgage payments. Under the normal contract principles, an offer may be revoked at any time before acceptance takes place, however, with unilateral contracts, acceptance takes place only on full performance. Thus, the judge, Lord Denning, held that you are entitled to remain in the house and once performance had commenced, Mr. Arrington's wife was stopped from revoking the offer since it would be unconscionable for her to do so. For the application of law, there was a contractual license in existence and that license bound the mother. The couple did not have a tenancy, but they did have a license, which gave them a contractual or at the very least an equitable right to stay in the house. There was no tenancy at will, and there was no legal impediment to keeping it since a licensee is not permitted to reclaim possession while the installments are still being paid. As mentioned before, since the father made a unilateral contract, it cannot be revoked only if they left if unfinished and unperformed. In spite of the fact that the couple did not express a promise to make payments, the agreement was legally enforceable until the couple ceased making payments. With that, we comes to the end. Thank you for your time.